Well, welcome to the Hilltop. We're excited for uh, all that's going to be announced today. Good afternoon. My name is Brad Cheeves. I'm privileged to serve as Vice President for Development External Affairs and uh, have everybody here for the announcement of the uh, head football coach position here at SMU. Are you glad to be here? I'd like to do some brief introductions and ask these folks to stand. And if you hold your applause till all have been introduced, our trustees, members of our trustees, our governing board are with us today and some other special guests. First, Mike Boone, chair of the board. Brad Brookshire. No, hold your applause. Hold your applause. <laughs> Coach, how do you do instructions? <laughs> uh, Gerald Ford. Brad Brookshire. I got out of line here. There's Brad. Uh, Fred Hagee. Paul Lloyd, David Miller, are there other trustees I was not made aware of? Paul Ludden, our provost, and the first lady of SMU, Gail Turner. Let's welcome our guests. After some comments by our president and the introduction, we'll have some moments, uh, uh, some opportunity for the media to ask some questions. And at this time, it is my privilege to bring to the microphone the president of SMU, Dr. R. Gerald Turner. Thank you, Brad. Thank all of you for being here. This is indeed a good day in the uh, centennial of SMU uh, to be able to announce an individual who has been in exile from the great state of Texas for a while. And uh, we're delighted to have the chance to, to bring him back. Uh, Rick Hart, uh, in his time as athletic director, has provided great leadership uh, for the university. He's a very organized individual, and I can tell you, and all of those that were on the search committee could tell you, that uh, Rick has provided in incredible organization, support, tenacity, vision. He has uh, contacts with people all over the country. Uh, when you're a third-generation athletic administrator, uh, a lot of people know you and trust you, and Rick has certainly earned that. And so for bringing this to culmination at the shortest, in the shortest period of time we possibly could, and uh, to bring it to a point in which, from the very beginning, we hope this would be the outcome, uh, to introduce the new coach is Athletic Director Rick Hart. Thank you very much, President Turner. I appreciate that and uh, appreciate your trust and the trust of the Board of Trustees. Um, it's a great day, great crowd. Thank you all for being here. I uh, really appreciate it. It's hard to believe, but 12 weeks ago today, uh, we announced a change in leadership uh, for our football program. Uh, there are many days when it seems much longer than that. Um, this was a, a long process, but a lot has transpired in those 12 weeks, and if you'll allow me to, I have a number of people I'd like to recognize and thank in their role for getting us to where we are today. First, uh, interim head coach Tom Mason. Uh, yeah. There will be people who will want to look at our record and judge Mason by our record, that would be a mistake. He uh, assumed a leadership position when really he knew it probably wasn't in his best personal interest. Uh, but he did that out of uh, love for this school and for our student athletes. And for that, I'm grateful. Our coaches and our staff. Uh, these are individuals, again, that, uh, that knew that a transition in the head coach uh, could impact them and their livelihoods and they have been professionals and uh, have provided great guidance and leadership for our student athletes who have remained the focal point throughout this 12 week period. Our student athletes uh, who again, in many ways learn lessons through sports that will benefit them later in life. Uh, unfortunately, they've had a, a long lesson in adversity this season, but I think they've handled it with grace and uh, they will be better because of it and I appreciate the fact that I don't think they ever quit or gave up on each other uh, or on the team or on the fans that were counting on them to give their best each and every time they took the field. 
our alumni, our donors, our fans, our former players, university faculty and staff, our students, our university leadership, my industry colleagues that did provide uh, a lot of guidance and support and advice, uh, my staff, and in particular, Matt Roberts, who helped lead this process internally, Todd Turner with Collegiate Sports Associates, the search committee, President Turner for his support of our program and his belief that athletics can help accomplish the mission of the institution, and finally, my family, who uh, had to put up with a lot during this process as well. It's been a long, thorough, inclusive process. Um, I'm appreciative to everyone who participated. We established a vision, a plan, and a profile to identify and recruit the next head coach to SMU. We wanted to make sure that as we set out to do that, we honored the significant investments that have been made over the many years to raise the profile of our athletics program, our operating support, our personnel, our facilities, our infrastructure, our conference affiliation. We are committed to the continued growth and evolution of our program, and we aspire to be the best in the American Athletic Conference. We aspire to have an athletics program that achieves success on par with our great university and the great city of Dallas. In order to do that, we must all work together and we must have a great football program. In that spirit, when we set out to hire the next football coach at SMU, we looked for the following characteristics and we went after the best. We wanted someone with great character. We wanted a leader, someone with family values, a teacher, an innovator, someone with a grand vision. We wanted someone who would embrace SMU, Dallas, the state of Texas, was respected by his peers. In short, we were looking for a winner. And it's my pleasure and honor today to introduce to you and to welcome home to Texas, Paula, Chandler, McKenzie, and the next head football coach at SMU, Chad Morris. Coach Morris. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. It's a great day to be a pony, let me tell you. A great day to be a Mustang, excited to be here. I can't, uh, can't share enough the excitement level. I have to apologize for my voice. Had a pretty big ball game last Saturday night and uh, got a great win and, and what a great, great opportunity uh, uh, to, to, to land in Dallas last night and got to eat a Whataburger right off the plane. So man, <laughs> life doesn't get much better than that, let me tell you. So we're, we're extremely excited and, and there's several people that I want to I wanna, I, I wanna definitely thank and recognize before we get going, but uh, I want to definitely thank Dr. Turner and uh, the process that, that they went through to, to, uh, to, 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 to get to this point to where we are today, uh, Rick Hart and, and uh, Matt Roberts and you guys and, and the entire search committee uh, that put forth the, the, the tireless hours of, of, of time spent um, away from their families to make sure this was the right hire. And uh, I assure you that it is the right hire without a doubt. And, uh, but it's, uh, I can promise you this, it's far more than just Chad Morris. It involves a, a lot of families involved. Um, and I want to introduce my family. Um, if y'all would stand up, Paula Morris, my daughter Mackenzie, my son Chandler. They truly make it happen. They allow me to do something that uh, that I, I so dearly love, and that's to be around uh, and make a difference in, in, in people's lives and, uh, and win football games. And uh, that's what we're, we're about. And my mom and dad are here, uh, JB and Arlene Morris. I appreciate y'all, the leadership that y'all have provided us. My college roommate that's been with me from the get-go, Chris Mattingly, we went to high school with him, so excited to be back here. And 
And uh, Coach Brown, it was, a, it was an honor to meet you and appreciate you taking time out of your day and during your season to be here. It's really special. And, and uh, I, uh, I know, as we all do, appreciate the success you've had, and, and we're going to build off of your success. And uh, we appreciate you, and thank you for coming. It means a lot. And not only that, I look around and, and, and see one of my former players, G.J. Kenny, uh, chose to come here today and uh, taking a day off from, from the Eagles and being here today to, to see this. And very special and, and uh, emotional day for, for the Morris family. Thank you for that. But, uh, you know, as we look on this, uh, the next phase, the next future of this, of this program and, and what's about to come, you can't help to remember when I was a kid and growing up and getting in those school buses on FCA days and, and loading up and coming and watching SMU play football and sitting in the end zone of Texas Stadium and, and watching SMU just beat whoever they lined up against and beat them soundly. Y'all remember it. Some of you still lived it. Some of you were playing. And, uh, and, and, and just to know that as a kid and, and when this job opened up, uh, a few few months ago, and, and this was an opportunity, I thought, at that point in time that this is it. This, this could be the one. And, but I knew also that it was going to take more than just Chad Morris. It's going to take a, the right fit, not from just a coach, but the right fit from an administration, from the, from the board and from the alumni, from our student body, which is so important in this turnaround process. We've got to involve our student body, and, and uh, we've got to have great players, and and I'm going to allude to that in just a few minutes, but our student body and our, our faculty, it's one. We're together in this. It just, it's not our own separate entity. It's, we're together in this process. We've got to lock arms, and we've got to all move in the right direction and in the same direction. So we're going to ask, and we're going to lean on a lot of people to get this thing done. And I know it's going to get done because I know there's a lot of passion that's sitting in this room that want to see it done. And uh, you've got my word as we look across and, and talk about the, the former players that have came through here and your Doak Walkers, your Kyle Rote Juniors, Eric Dickerson, your Craig James, and, and Cole Beasley's that are now playing and the others that are playing in the league right now. And, and to embrace the impact that they've had on this university and on this football program. And just know this, and I'm going to welcome them with open arms with all of them, those former players and that uh, – um, that, are, that are in the league right now and, and uh, those players that, uh, that have put so much time and effort into building this program where it is today. And, uh, but it's going to start with a culture change. It's got to start with a culture change from the get-go. And that's, what, that's the number one thing we're going to do. Uh, I, just a little bit uh, about me, I think, uh, uh, to be able to see Randy Allen a few minutes ago to come in and, and spend a little time in the reception before we came up here was very... Uh, uh, very touching for me that he would take time of his practice schedule to come and see me. And I don't think Coach Allen's here, but I truly appreciate that. And, and uh, thank you, Coach. I, words can't describe how much that means to me. <laughs> Even though you did kick my tail not too long ago. So uh, that's okay. That's okay. But uh, we appreciate you, Coach, and, and what you mean to this community and this university. And so... Uh, but uh, my relationship with these Texas high school coaches, I'm a Texas high school football coach. That's who I am. <clears throat> and I make no bones about it, and I don't back down from anything. I think that the Texas high school football coaches do it the right way. Uh, I think that they have to do it all. They, have, they, they get it. They understand that, that you have to build relationships, and that's what it's all about. I've had coaches all across the country ask me, What's it really like, Coach? What, what, what is it? What's the secret? I love your scheme. I love what you do offensively. We love what you're doing, X's and O's. And, and, and the one thing I keep coming back to, and I disappoint them every time when I say it, I said it's about relationships. It's not just about relationships with your players. It's about relationships with your fans and your parents and, and everyone that touches those student athletes. It's about the true development of the student athlete and not just on that football field, because if we can take care of everything off that football field and making sure they're, they're getting the right resources and the right people touching them, then the success on that football field is going to take care of itself. And, uh, and that's what I'm going to challenge our, our staff, our faculty, and to really let's lock arms and let's get this done. But uh, you're about to see an exciting brand of football. 
Um, and uh, it's going to be, we're going to be one of the most explosive offenses, one of the most explosive football teams in all of college football. And we're going to be one of the biggest turnarounds in college football before this is over with. But it's going to take a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of effort. And it's going to take a lot of guys that are on this board and, and a lot of guys in that, that team room today that I had a chance to sit and meet with briefly to say, you know what, they're tired of what's happening and we're going to do something about it. And that's the way it's going to get changed, and it's going to get changed with a positive attitude. Everybody knows what we've been through this season and what y'all have gone through, and, and, and that hasn't been any fun. And, and we can only do something about it, and, and it's going to take us together to pull together to get this done. And uh, we're excited. Uh, I know there's a lot of questions, and, and I'm excited to get back with my peers in the Texas high school ranks and, and get out and get to meeting with them. I got, uh, I got visits lined up tomorrow, and I'll be on the road recruiting and, and uh, hitting the road. And, um, and just being able to get out and, and, and go visit some friends that, uh, that I've been able to, to coach against and and uh, got a great relationship with uh, just right here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Um, and there's some great players right here, right underneath our own, own wingspan. Within a, within a quarter of a tank of gas drive, you can get all you want. And, uh, and I, I'm, well, this is going to make it really hard for these guys to leave here. I will say this, we're not going to play second fiddle to anybody, and we're not going to back down from anybody. And uh, we're going to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best in the country because that's what we want to be. And uh, we're going to live it. We're going to talk it. And I'm looking forward to this great challenge. So uh, with that, uh, is there anything? Okay. Great. Sir, for coach. Stay right. We can take them here. Or maybe you want to So at this time, we'll open, uh, open this up for questions. We'll, um, this is for media. So if you would identify your name, uh, your media outlet, uh, and then ask your question, and then we'll, we'll give it a one question uh, ending notice. But uh, all of these three gentlemen are open for questions, but uh, I'll open it up to Bill Nichols, Dallas Morning News. Uh, Chad, uh, have you been able to look at the, uh, at the team, the current team, and see what's coming back and, and what you might be able to do next year? Well, I, not 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 a whole lot, you know. I've been I've been uh, pretty uh, preoccupied in, in in a lot of trying to trying to win a big game last Saturday night. And but over the course of time, I, I absolutely, you know, had a chance to look look at a few things. And and um, you know, uh, just uh, you know, Garrett Gilbert played for me um, in in Austin and at Lake Travis and and played here. And so I've had a chance to talk to Garrett in depth a little bit. And um, and so it, it, we have, and uh, to somewhat, but. Uh, now that uh, um, it's official, then it'll it'll definitely be a take on a whole nother approach. Coach, what kind of time frame do you have on putting together your staff, and how many do you expect to bring from Clemson with you? Just well, your name and, and media outlets, so everyone knows. Sorry, Steve Lansdale with Pony Fans. All right. Well, Steve, I, uh, I it's a great question. I, I've got. Uh, I think I've got one guy in the air right now. Should be landing soon. I'll have uh, two more on the ground tonight. Uh, we'll hit the ground running. The wheels aren't going to stop on their cars. And uh, uh, hope to have the entire staff intact. You would like to have it by Christmas. Um, if, if it can't get done by Christmas, uh, you know, just shortly during, during the Christmas holidays. But the, the one thing I'm going to do is take, uh, uh, take time and make sure we get the right fit. Uh, Got to have this, the same vision, share the same morals, the same ethics that what we're after, what this university stands for, uh, what Dr. Turner has instilled here uh, during his tenure and what Rick has instilled and, and Larry. And, um, you know, there's a, there's a, there is a, uh, uh, some high expectations that we have for our coaches on this staff. And so uh, definitely anticipate hiring, uh, uh, getting some Texas high school football coaches on our staff. Um, I think it's important to, to embrace uh, some of those guys and, and get them out and, and uh, let them be a part of this staff. And, so uh, I've, I've, got a, I've got a list, and, but I'm, I'm actively working on it. Coach, Billy Embody with, Billy Embody with Scout.com. At the end of the day, when it's all said and done, and one day you may move on from SMU, what do you want your legacy to be here? Well, let me, let me just say it like this. Why, why, don't we, why don't we address it like this? 
if you could talk to my players right now from Clemson or if you could talk to some of my former players that have played for me, the one thing I would hope that they would say is, you know, not only is Coach Morris and his family – uh, and Coach Morris, a great coach, and, and, and has taught us a lot about the game of football. But if you really want to know about Coach Morris, you need to look at his family and you look at what he stands for and the type of person he is. And, and, and that's what I want. I mean, it, it's, football is, is uh, uh, it's, it's what I do. It's not who I am. And um, I'm a husband. I'm a father. And uh, I'm a son, and, and, and with all that, if you keep the, the right perspectives in, in place, the results will take care of itself in the end. And I think it's important that, that our family, my family is involved, our coaches' families are involved in our players' lives. They want to, they, we need to be able to model uh, the, you know, what it's like in, 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 with a family around, and we're going to preach family. And, and so there will be, there'll be a lot involved, but I think the biggest thing, my legacy I want to be is I want to be a person that made a difference. Uh, Coach, Adam Grossbard, Rivals, um, you said in the past that it would take a special job for you to leave Clemson. Mm -hmm. um, what was it about SMU that made you want to come here? Wow, you're in Dallas, Texas, number one. How about that? <laughs> Dallas, Texas. You know, um, you're right back in your wheelhouse of recruiting to where you're, you're, you're one of those guys. I'm a, I, again, I, I'm going I'm to say it. I'm a Texas high school football coach. Uh, D.W. Rutledge, Joe Martin, those guys have been instrumental in my success uh, with, our, with our association. Being selected by my peers uh, to be on the board of directors for our coaching association was one of the highlights of, of, of my entire career. Um, and uh, to be able to, 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 to know that I can come back into this state and have the impact in our, with, our, with our coaches, our high school coaches, um, and to be able to recruit like we can recruit there's, the, I, I think this is a gold mine. I really do. And I think there's a lot of work. There's a whole lot of work ahead. And it's going to take a lot of people, a lot of people pulling in the same direction. And we're going to get that done. But the one thing they're going to have to, to tell me to do is, is they're going to have to tell me, whoa, and not go, because I'm going to be on the go all the time. And, and that's, that's the way we work and that's the way we function. And so I think this is an unbelievable job, an unbelievable opportunity that uh, has got, uh, that they, they, they can see some, some instant success. That'll conclude our uh, questions. Uh, Brad Sutton's available to create, have one-on-ones with Coach or others over here in the back section. But Coach, we noticed uh, how good you looked in the colors, red and blue. And President Turner and Rick have a presentation they'd like to make. Come on up, stand right. in the middle of us here. <laughs> Notice how form-fitted it is. Uh, in closing, I'd like to thank again all of those on the search committee and also the Circle of Champions and the ones who really uh, came forward and helped in a great way. And uh, obviously, the top of that list in bringing about this uh, successful recruitment and uh, meeting with them and so on were the individuals that really helped us straight down the line. And I'd like to personally thank uh, Jerry Ford, uh, David Miller, and uh, Paul Lloyd, and all of those who came along with us also, Clark Hunt, Brad Brookshire, and, and uh, our faculty athletic rep, Paul Rogers. These are the people that really consistently worked with us, and thank all of you very much. Thank you. That concludes our time together.